Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I haven't done a sit down video like this in a while, I have mainly just been doing vlogs in the past few months, but I thought that since France is still technically under a lockdown, it would be a nice idea to take you guys kind of on like a virtual tour around Paris and introduce you my favorite neighborhoods within Paris. So this is what we are doing today. I hope that you will enjoy this video and I hope that you will find it useful. So just before we start, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you feel like doing that. And without any further ado, Let's see the neighborhoods. So my all-time favorite neighborhood in Paris is definitely Le Marais. Le Marais spreads across the third and fourth district in Paris. It's mostly known for its nightlife, bars, trendy lunches, bookstores, fashion stores, vintage stores, second-hand stores. I think I even have like a vlog up somewhere where I went to some of the most popular second-hand stores within Le Marais. I personally love this neighborhood for its fashion stores, boutiques, the bookstores, the museums, the art galleries. It's a really diverse neighborhood and let's not even forget about Centre Pompidou. Fun fact, Le Marais is equally one of the most popular neighborhoods among the LGBTQ plus community in Paris because of its gay bars and specialized boutiques. Basically it's a mix between culture and nightlife and shopping and it's an extremely diverse neighborhood. It has a really good vibe to it and I just really enjoy walking around within this area. Also some of my favorite spots within this neighborhood are Musée National des Archives for some culture, Place des Vosges for some greenery, Hôtel de Ville for shopping and Le Passage de l'Ancre for some Instagram mink for some photo shoots. Also, if you're looking for some cool cafes within this area, my all-time favorite ones are La Cafiotech de Paris, Fragments, Boot Café, Merci, and Alma, the Chimney Cake Factory. So the next neighborhood is one that's really close to my heart and definitely the one where I spend most of my time in unintentionally, but it's all good. I love it there. So Le Quartier Latin is located between the 5th and 6th district in Paris and is home to many famous universities such as the Sorbonne. This neighborhood is mostly famous for its cafes and bookstores, one of which is the notorious Shakespeare and Company, which is a bookstore that everybody should visit once in their life if they ever come to Paris, in my opinion. My all-time favorite spots within this area are Jardin des Plans, for chilling between my lectures at university, Le Pantheon, in front of which I usually just eat my lunch between my lectures, Rue Mouffetard and Rue Monge for shopping and also for food. These two streets are filled with great restaurants. Also the best cafes in this area, the ones that I recommend you the most are Josie Cafe, Café Le Sancier, Choco Factory and Plus 82 Paris, which is a Korean cafe actually. And so my next favorite neighborhood in Paris is Saint-Germain-des-Prés. This neighborhood is mostly popular for its bookstores, publishing houses and also for the famous artists who live there between the 19th and 20th century. This neighborhood is home to unique bars, restaurants, antique stores, art galleries and cafes such as the famous Café de Flore and Les Deux Magots which you have probably seen in Emily in Paris. Furthermore, my all-time favorite spots in this neighborhood, the Luxembourg Garden, where I usually go to like at least twice or even three times a week, the Odeon Theatre and Rue de Bussy, 
for the best cafes. Also, my personal favorite cafes in this neighborhood are Café Bussy, Coutume Café, Le Mabillon, and obviously the two classics, Café de Flore and Les Deux Magots. So my next favorite neighborhood in Paris is actually the 11th district. So the 11th district is particularly famous for its dining scenes and obviously the famous modern opera house, L'Opera Bastille. I love this neighborhood, especially for its cool cafes and bars located around Rue Oberkampf. Actually, some of my all-time favorite cafes are in this neighborhood as well, especially the Hood Paris, Café Spoon, République of Café, and Café Oberkampf. And so we're not going far with the next neighborhood. Le Canal Saint-Martin is actually an almost five kilometer long canal in Paris located between Rue de Faubourg du Temple and Place de la Bastille. Today it's an area that is mostly known for its bohemian stores, cool cafes and bars and it's really unique food bridges. If you're looking into vintage shopping and gourmet restaurants, this is probably the neighborhood for you. Also, I know that a lot of people come here during the summer to do picnics along the canals or also to just sit down and have a glass of wine since drinking in public is actually legal in France. Good to know! And so last but not least, the very last neighborhood is one that everybody has already heard of at least once in their lives. The Montmartre or Le Montmartre. So Montmartre is actually a large hill in the 18th district of Paris. This neighborhood is obviously mostly known for the Sacré Coeur on its summit. It's an extremely charming area filled with interesting streets, art studios, bistros and handmade jewelry stores. If by any chance you're a fan of the movie Le Fabuleux Dastan d'Amélie Poulain, don't forget to check out Le Café des Deux Moulins. My all-time favorite spots in this neighborhood are La Maison Rose and Le Consulat for the best Instagram spots. So I think that this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching it again. Just again, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!